Uh, hello guys today in this tutorial I will basically show you a, a new tool that I added on my freemediatools.com website so this tool allows you to basically password protect your PDF documents encrypt your PDF documents with a password so we have this tool out there you can check out the live demo the link is given in the description of this video so you need to choose your basically PDF file I select this PDF file and enter my password one two three four five six and now guys you will see it will encrypt it and it will download the file as an attachment so if I open this PDF file this dialog box will be there password required I can't basically close it if I click submit it will tell me enter the password if I enter incorrect password you will see incorrect password is there if I enter the correct password the file will open so this is a very handy tool guys if you want to share your PDF document with somebody you can encrypt it by a password so that only the users who know the password can open your PDF document so it's a very cool tool that I developed in uh, Node.js and Express and I will be using some Python code in this application I am using a Python script which is running in the background we are calling it we are using a library called as pypdf2 this is a very handy python library which is useful for uh, working with pdf documents so it is used for merging splitting encrypting the pdf documents so the command is very simple pip install pypdf2 so just go to the command line and install this module so after you install it guys we will show you a python script that i written guys step by step so just make a app.py file guys so right here we will say import the module which is pypdf2 and now guys we will make basically make a function encrypt pdf we will take the input file and then we will basically take the output pdf path and the third argument will be password so this is actually a function guys which is declared using def keyword in python inside this function we will use the try catch block we will open this pdf file input pdf path in a read binary mode as input file and then we will basically use the method which is there inside this module which is called as pdf reader input file and then we will basically write the content of this PD using a method pdf writer and we will iterate through each page and add it to the writer object so that we want the encryption in all the pages so we don't have a catch block in python we have a accept block accept uh, exception as e you can print out another record so after you do this guys we will basically have a simple for loop for page number in range and we will basically calculate the PDF reader object that we got it contains a pages property so it will basically count the number of pages and now this will run this loop until all the pages are completed in the PDF document so we will have the page number like this and we will basically use PDF writer and we will add this page add page the actual page number and lastly guys we will actually encrypt it we have the encrypt method inside this library with the user password attribute so we can pass the password here that we received in the function like this and lastly we will put a property owner password owner underscore pwd is equal to none and use 128 bit to true lastly we will basically save this file so we will pass the path that we received in read binary mode as output file and then we will say pdf writer 
dot write we will write the actual output file so this is basically the function guys which is completed so we can basically after that we can say pdf encrypted successfully and uh, now we can simply call this python script guys after we do that so what we can do we can say if name is equal to main in that case we can provide the input pdf path this will be let me provide it statically first of all we have a file called as sample pdf and output pdf path let's suppose i say result.pdf and password let me provide this as q this is a password that i provide so now we will actually uh, call this function guys encrypt pdf we will pass the input pdf path output pdf path and the actual password so this is the actual python script guys so you can see that let me delete the encrypted pdf file so we only have this sample pdf file guys you will see that so in the root directory if i run this python script invalid syntax let me see guys what is the problem just put a colon here so if you run python app.py it is saying an error occurred the full source code is there guys all the payment links are there you can purchase the full source code alongside with the directory structure you can purchase it using stripe and paypal in various currencies so check out the full description all the links are there so basically i've pasted the code guys this is actual code if you run now so it has created this second file encrypted.pdf guys and if i open this it will asking for the password if i provide the correct password the file will open and similarly guys now we will create a basic application here node.js application so we will allow the user to submit the form form action will be encrypt pdf so here method will be post encoding type multipart form data and import file and we will say name file except only pdf files and it is required input type submit and value will be encrypt pdf so this is actual form guys and uh, if you now refresh your start your application if i go to localhost 5000 the application is not running here uh, because we need to create the express js server so just to require it We also need the Malter library guys. So we also need to make this public directory a static. So we have this form guys and now we will actually make that post request app dot post encrypt pdf and here guys first of all we need to upload the file so for uploading the file we will use the malter library so malter first of all we need to basically tell malter where to save the file we will have this code running here and paste it so we will store it inside public slash uploads directory uh, this just create a uploads directory here in the public folder so here your pdf files will get stored after that we are calling it file so we have given this name attribute name file that's why here you will use this middleware guys upload inside this sorry 
so here the file will be uploaded guys so you will say if request file is there so in this case guys we will actually call this python script so for that we will basically use spawn inside child process which is a built in module in node.js so we will call this process spawn and basically we will call this python script python and we will provide the argument the first argument here will be the actual python script which is app.py and then followed by the path argument so we will say let output file is date dot now output dot pdf so we can provide the input file request dot file dot path and then we can provide the output file and also guys we can provide the password whichever password the user has entered so we can have a field here after this uh, input type text name let me give it password placeholder enter password it is also required so also in right here if you want to catch this value we also need to have body middle express dot url encoded extended to false and so with the help of these two lines we will be able to get use this request dot body dot password so after that guys this have various events out there that we can listen for exit event so now if the code is equal to 0 in that case uh, the script is executed successfully now in that case we can download the file output file so that's it guys so this completes the application and if I try to uh, launch this application if I choose the file enter my password one two three four five six so if you now see guys what so nothing is there let me see uh, first of all console log request dot body dot password request dot file dot path and just wait if it is any kind of error So it is coming here undefined if you see the file has been uploaded in the uploads directory if you see the file is uploaded so just change it to input type password here Okay, just move these two lines right here, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. In the here script here, we do we do we do need to basically have accepting these so like this system. So just make these modifications. Just make this script as dynamic. So. now we can import this module so this makes this script guys dynamic so we can simply call this script here like this you can pass arguments python app.py sample.pdf like this so if you try to basically call this now so 
So now you can see that uh, the file is downloaded. It is successfully encrypted, encrypted by password. If I enter the correct password, the file opens. So this was a tutorial guys on how I basically built this tool. You can try out the tool. The link is given in the description. You can also purchase the full source code with all the progress bar functionality as well, which is helpful for SEO as well. If you do that, you will see that. So all the source links are available. So kindly check the full description. All the links are there for Stripe and PayPal in various currencies. So please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.